Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink with my unboxing of the Simon Says Stamp August 2021 card kit that just got here. I'm super excited, as I always am. Let's, let's get this out. Fabulous, fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, so this is the totally, totally unforgettable card kit. Just, it's adorable. I, I was just couldn't wait. There's so much cute stuff in here. So, as with the last two, or is it three months now of card? I can't remember if this is the second or third time. Um, Simon's been including their mesh bags with the card kit which is awesome because the entire kit will fit inside these bags. You've got a nice little um, ribbon tab on the side that you could put like a binder ring in or whatever. You could hang these up. Love it. I'm kind of liking it to have my kits in just kind of keep everything you know in one spot rather than all over the place. And you can put like masking tape on them and label them all that stuff. So you get that. And then there's the stamp set, which is like the main, you know, inspiration for this kit. So this is the totally unforgettable stamp set. It's so cute. <laughs> I just, I love punny sentiments. I've said it a million times. I love punny sentiments. I think this set is just like the sentiments themselves are adorable. I think these frogs are really cute. Like just the whole theme of this and then the images and everything is just I think it's adorable so there's the stamp set there's also this really fun slimline stencil which I also thought I was like ooh, this is so fun because you've got your like lily pads then you have like a water border and then there's the cloud border and oh and little flowers like for the lily pads and of course, because it's a slimline size, like you can do like a slimline card or a five by seven card, etc. And this will fit across. Love it. So there's that. There's also an embossing folder. Simon's been doing all of these um, fabulous embossing folders, 3D embossing folders, like all of it. So this is the Pinpoint Starlets embossing folder. This will just work with anything. I need to pull out all my embossed folders and start playing around. I've been seeing so much amazing inspiration from other makers using embossing folders and I'm like, oh, love. So yeah, I wanna play with this one especially. I just, I think it's so pretty. It'll work with everything. So you get that. Um, you get a piece of acetate. So this is, this is not heat resistant. I'm glad they actually put that right on the paper. Um, so you don't want to try like heat embossing or like running this through with like glimmer hot foil or anything like that. But the acetate is great to do shaker cards or I had just posted a video doing like ink smushing backgrounds and using acetate to like put the ink on and like smush it everywhere. This is great for that as well. This is a really like heavy duty. Like this is not flimsy acetate. This is, this is good. So you can use it to make shaker cards because there's a whole pack. <laughs> I think these are the cutest little things and if, I love how it's all just coordinating. These are from Trinity Stamps. They're just frog embellishments and they're just, they're so cute. They're so cute. Like just love it. I think they're absolutely adorable. So you can, again, you can create cute little like frog theme shaker, shaker card. There's also googly eyes, which I'm very glad they included because these are perfect. So you got a whole pack of googly eyes and they are sized. They'll work with the these little guys. So you can have little googly eyes as well. I have a thing for googly eyes. I haven't used them in a long time, but I have like a bunch of different sizes and I love pulling them out for different projects. So you get a package of those. Candy, of course. I always love the little suckers that we get in the kits. Um, Doris foam strips. These are my favorite narrow little foam strips. I remember when these were first released, I was like losing my mind. I had a wonderful person that sent me a whole like pack of them that I'm still working through. So now I have another little set of these. But these ones are narrow and I love it. 
these three stones like I use them I don't necessarily use them for shakers but obviously that's why they're great for that I like them just for like adhering sentiments and other things because they're so narrow and when you peel off the backing they're flexible so you can do very easy little shakers with them I love I love these highly recommend love so you get a pack of those you get a couple of Simon's envelopes love there's also this custom paper this was by photo play and it's really adorable single-sided it's so cute so you get a pack of this oh i love these little ladybugs it's oh it's really pretty little paper really cute so you get a pack of the papers i like the color combo too it's not a combo i would think of love it so you get a pack of those and then last but certainly not least you get some cardstock so we've got a sheet of nina 110 pounds solar white a sheet of simon's lemon chiffon a sheet of simon's soft navy these are like the simon cardstock is like 100 pound like heavyweight and then this is nina's gamma green it's called and it's 65 pound weight you can definitely tell a difference in the weight of the cardstocks i love the color this is the type of cardstock i'd use more for like layering die cuts etc i would not use this for card bases because for me it's too flimsy or if you use thinner cardstocks like this as a card base because you've got your layers on the front on the inside i would add another piece of cardstock just to give it that little bit of extra weight because it's just not quite the same but the color is fabulous so it's always a nice option like thinner cardstocks i do like for layering too because then they don't add a ton of weight and bulk to your card so that is the card kit in a nutshell stay tuned i will have i will continue on and make something with this i honestly don't even know yet my mind is just kind of going but i'm thinking some form of shaker i just these are so cute i love the stamps this kit is so much fun it's so cute so before i get to the card as always i will link to the kit the subscription info, everything that's available separately, all that stuff, that will be linked in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog. On my blog, I have picture links and the pictures of the card, all that stuff, and that's always the very first link. And then, um, yeah, I'll have my social media, all that stuff. That's always linked in the description box below. And stay tuned for what I make. So of course I'm gonna do a flat shaker card. <laughs> I have been obsessed. So anyhow, I took some of the Nina cardstock that came in the kit and a few of the images from the stamp set and I put them into my Misty and I'm going to ink these up with Simon's Intense Black Ink because this is a Copic friendly ink and I'm going to color these images in with Copic markers. So line them up, stamp them. I didn't mention in the unboxing, but there is a coordinating die set for this stamp set. I will link to it. It'll be linked with the rest of the supplies. I don't have the coordinating die set, so I fussy cut these images. That's also why I only stamped a few, <laughs> even though the set's adorable and I wanted to make like a ton of cards. I can't do that much fussy cutting. It would just hurt my hands too much. But anywho, stamp the images. This first little bit, this is real time. I am going to speed this up because this video is already going to be quite long. But I like to, when I can show a little, uh, just a little bit of real time, just to show you guys, like I do not color near as fast as what you're seeing now. This is sped up like 600% or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I don't color this fast. I don't create this fast. It's just the magic of video editing. <laughs> Anywho, for the coloring, I kept it really simple and it, just greens. Um, I This time I actually went lighter to darker because I want to add some little dotty texture. So I just did a lighter green, added like kind of a medium green, blended those together a little bit. And then once I have those in place, I went and did the little uh, lily pad that I had stamped and I just did a couple different greens for that, you know, just to give it a little bit of, you know, 
definition. And then I really liked that YG21 that that's a really yellowy green. So I used that first to create some little dot texture in the same way that you would use the colorless blender. I've shown this in videos in the past. When you hold the colorless blender and dot it over an image, it pushes the color away from it. So you get like dots or you could do lines, you can do whatever you want. I usually use it though for dots. So I did that same thing with the light yellow green marker. And then over it, I dotted this uh, darker green, just again, just to add that texture. You don't have to go too um, in depth, like, like tons of blending and all that sort of thing. You can do simple things like adding little dots and it gives it texture and it's just simple. But at the same time, those that do, they're really, you know, lots of different colors for the blends and like darker to lighter and all those wonderful things. It's, I love watching it. I love looking at it. There's just so much inspiration. But for me, 99% of the time, I just don't have the patience. <laughs> so anywho, coloring was simple though, because I get lots of greens. For these little cattails, I did the same thing. I just put down a lighter brown and then went in with the dark brown and just dotted them. Just up and down, nothing crazy, really simple. I added a little bit of blue to the frog's eyes just because. I was like, I thought that would be cute and I was happy with it. And then I took my white gel pen and did the same thing. I went over those dots, added just little dots and then, you know, little random highlights here and there. Again, not following any sort of light source. It, images like this are just so cute that I don't worry about it. So like I said, I fussy cut my images because I didn't have the coordinating dies. If I had the coordinating dies, I would have just die cut everything. But I fussy cut them. And then I took this little blue pattern paper from the kit and trimmed it down to, it's like three by six inches. I decided to go with a mini slimline card this time. And I'm just gonna use the packaging that the pattern paper came in to create my little shaker window. I've shown this in several videos lately. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, you know I'm obsessed with flat shaker cards. They're so easy to make. They're super fun. I've done all different kinds I've used pre-made shaker pockets. I've used vellum. One of my favorites though is to use just packaging like this. And I've had people asking like, well, you know, I've thrown mine out, etc. There's always more to be found for so many things. So like something like this, I was just, I, you know, I'd pulled out the pattern paper and I was like, ooh, perfect. <laughs> so I trimmed it down and I have enough left over that I can do one or two more shakers. So I'm keeping that packaging just like I keep all the rest. And I started to, I was going to start like adhering the packaging and then realized, oh, I want to stop. I'm going to add a little bit of anti-static powder. Some of my videos, I haven't done it. The last one I did, I did use it. I think it helps because I am planning on adding some glitter to this. So especially with things like glitter and these flat shakers so that, the, you know, the acid, there's not a lot of room in between them. So it does help. The biggest issue is you just, you don't want to have too much powder because it will show up. But I just dusted my anti-static powder and then used my big old tonic fan brush to brush off the excess. And then I started adhering the package to this pattern paper. So I'm just using my score tape. You want a good strong adhesive for things like this. So something like score tape or a red line tape. You could use liquid adhesives. It just gets a lot more difficult and a little bit more finicky because you know, liquid adhesives, especially in this sort of a thing, um, can kind of get everywhere but like a glossy accents or a collage medium would work, but this is way easier to use like a score tape or a red line tape. So I seal up three sides. And once I've got all three sides of this um, paper sealed up, I'm gonna add in those little froggy shaker elements from the kit. Love them, love, them. they're so cute. So dump some of those in there. And then of course that wasn't enough. <laughs> it needed some blank and to just kind of fill it if that makes sense. So I grabbed my studio Caudia. I have some like large chunky kind of confetti glitter. And then I have some just chunky glitter because of course I have like a million different kinds of glitters. These ones though have been my favorite with these flat shakers. So I don't even bother putting them away. They literally sit like on my windowsill right in front of my desk. So scoop some of that in there just to again, like fill in and also add you know, the shimmery sparkly that I like. And once I was happy with that, now I can seal off this final side here. And then I just trim off the little bits that are folded over on the back here. It just 
makes everything a little more seamless on the back and also so that none of those little corners are like sticking out in weird ways. So everything is sealed up. So my shaker element has now been created. And of course I'm gonna like sit and play with it cause that's just what you do. So we've got that created. And then for my sentiment, I use that green cardstock that came in the kit and I'm gonna white heat emboss this little, you are totally awesome sentiment onto it. So I put that in my Misty anti static powder tool, stamp the sentiment a couple times with clear embossing ink to make sure I got a good impression. And then I coated it with uh, detail white embossing powder, melted it with my heat tool. And same thing, I just trimmed that out with scissors because I didn't have the coordinating dies. But yeah, trust, I'm, I'm always just like, oh, I had to fussy cut, <laughs> even though that's usually, although again, it, used to, it was like 15 years ago that that's all we could do because we didn't have coordinating dies for anything. So yeah, I'm now 15 years older since then. So of course my hands are starting to hurt. So anywho, anywho, my card base was six and a quarter inches by six and a half inches Simon's smooth white cardstock. And I scored it at three and a quarter inches. So this will be a three and a quarter by six and a quarter inch slimline, mini slimline card. And I put it in my Misty and I stamped more sentiments from the set. I stamped the unforgettable frog, unfrog gettable. That's hard to say. <laughs> With uh, distress mode lawn oxide ink and then added the little hope your day is. And then I took the little heart from the set and I'm just stamping this with sponge sugar distress oxide ink. It's pale, but the, the little shaker elements had those little pink flowers in them. So I just kind of wanted to mimic that. And then I coated the back of the shaker panel with more score tape and I adhered it to a piece of the lemon chiffon cardstock that came in the kit that I just trimmed to slightly larger than the shaker panel. And then to adhere these little guys, I'm using uh, glossy accents. Like I said, this is a good one. Like this is like one of the good liquid adhesives that works on like plastic. Uh, Distress or Rangers like collage medium also works really well. Multi-medium matte will also work. Um, you want something that will really like adhere well and this works. My last video, I like adhered everything to the paper and then put the shaker like on top of everything. I thought about that with this, but I wanted the little froggy to really like, you know, stand out and have everything kind of floating behind him. So that's why I adhered everything on top this time. So once I've got all of those adhered, I'm going to adhere this to my card base. I could have used the glossy accents for this, but it's just habit to use my craft tacky glue. So I'm going to get this adhered into place onto my card and that's it. Like super fun, super cute, and it's pretty much flat. So it's good to go. And again, yeah, shaker. <laughs> This is, I love this kit. I just, I think it's absolutely adorable. The, just the images and the little shaker elements and the paper, all the things. So like I mentioned earlier, I will have a link below the uh, video to my blog post. I'll have picture links in my blog post, all that info. You can check it out in the description box below the video if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting. I very much appreciate all your support and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.